morning y'all and welcome to vlogtober i think we are about at day five of vlogtober now so i think for day five i'm just going to do a full day of go puff i've never did go puff for like a whole day so i'm just gonna take y'all on that journey here with me i guess and see what that looks like um that this may or may not end up being a video we'll see so i'm right here outside of the go pup building so i'm about to go ahead and sit, hit the slide button to start the work day and we'll see you know what we get and i'll try to talk through i'm not gonna you know we go and we go inside to get you know my bands but i'm not gonna record all that as I'm sorry, y'all probably hear traffic as it's a lot of traffic, <laughs> like, where I am. I'm right off of a main road, so I hope y'all can hear me. But, um, so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna record, like, inside. I'm not really, like, too comfortable with that. I don't know if, that, like, that's cool or whatnot. But, um, yeah, so I'm about to go ahead, hit the slide button to go ahead to start the shift. And, yeah, just come out with me and see what we could get in a full deck. Like I said, I never did this on a full day. Uh, I usually do Grubhub, Uber Eats, mainly during the day, and then used to do this at night, because you can do this very late. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. Just come on, come on. All right, y'all, so with GoPuff, you do have to be near or at least very close, and I do mean very, very, very close. Damn near right in the parking lot of the facility for you to start receiving GoPuff orders. So once you get your orders, you go ahead and set off for delivery, and then, you know, your tips are automatic. They do have up to an hour, I do believe, like Uber Eats, to change the tip. So once you drop it off, you go ahead and head back to the go puff facility to get your next order now depending on the type of day it is which i realized here and which may be actually signing up for shifts may be helpful is it can be a waiting game i waited at the facility i'd probably say for with this one i didn't wait as long i think i waited for about like 30 minutes before i had actually got uh, my second order to come in i think at best you can get maybe three separate orders at a time to be delivered to three separate customers but i believe that's the biggest um that an order can be paid out for you of course you do have to worry about people customers who tip or don't tip in which in this on this particular day i did run into a customer who tipped me i think like 80 cents maybe even 50 and then another customer who only tipped me Actually, they didn't tip me anything at all. And then as well, this is what I was not prepared for. A big order like this to be delivered on the 10th floor. And then they only paid me $5 in a tip for that. But you know what? I'm grateful. I try not to complain. So yet again, we head back to the GoPuff facility. So I probably say that's just the biggest thing and the difference with other delivery driving such as uber eats um draw door dash grub hub stuff like that is you do have to go back and forwards to the go puff facility to pick up orders but what i did notice is that none of the orders that i received was at least above five or six i want to say at least six none of them were any more than six i did not get any orders that were six miles from the facility so i consider that to be a plus especially when i'm debating and trying to calculate okay is the amount that i'm getting paid for worth the mileage that i'm going uber eats drives me crazy they are the worst at that some of their payouts will be like six dollars for you to go 18 miles what like what who is doing that i yeah no so that is something that i do like is the trips are pretty quick for the most part and then boom they're done just to go back but of course sometimes it could be a waiting game by the time i delivered my second uh set of orders i guess is what i'll call it by the time i got back around 
that 12, 1 o'clock-ish, I was waiting. I probably was waiting for a good hour before I finally got an order, in which I had decided at that point I was going to call it a day for my shift. All right, y'all, so give, just to give a little bit more of um background, I probably started that day, if you didn't notice it, forgive uh, some of that. I, you used to be able to screen record with the iPhone what happened or maybe i need to update my phone i'm not sure but so i recorded with my other phone of this phone of me getting those orders so i apologize if they're not great to see i was trying to show y'all you know what it looks like coming in without showing the customer's address of course and then what it looks like once um your orders have completed uh with the you know showing the tip or whatnot um if they included one so yeah so um like I said, I started at like 10 o'clock in the morning and it was like a little bit after 10. I started at 10 and the, my technically goal was to end at about basically like 3 o'clock around the time when Jada will be getting out of school. So, but from that timing of waiting that entire time, I'm not going to lie, I got bored. I started to get like, even YouTube wasn't even like, and watching my shows wasn't even entertaining me. I was this close, this close to swiping on Uber and Grubhub to get them in to try to get some more orders but i wanted to do this experiment because i wanted to see if i was just to do this on um on a given day during my normal times that i do drive uh for grubhub and uber eats um could i still make my goal which is a hundred dollars a day so um hopefully here i should be including uh what i actually did make today which i did just about about make at least halfway of my goal which was about fifty dollars probably if i them two people would have gave me a better tip or at least that one person would have tipped me i probably would have made my fifty dollar at least halfway goal uh for the beginning of the day but um, what I do is I'll update y'all to what I end up did making for the full day because I am going to go back out um, later on and do a couple more hours. So um, I'll try to remember to update that for y'all tomorrow. And yeah, so I think that was just about it. Like I said, by the time I got my third, so I think totally I ended up getting, yes, I got a two, then I got a one, and then I think I got a two. So I think I ordered three different times, five total orders, three separate deliveries. Five, no, I'm about to just tell it all up. Either way, I got a total, I did a total of five uh, GoPuff deliveries in which three different in three different batches maybe that's just the best way that i'll that i'll put it um so yeah i do believe that's what else. i got two and then i got one and then i got two and basically by the time i delivered the last ones it was kind of just like uh you might as well go home you got to recap to do y'all haven't eaten so you might as well just go ahead and get a head start and get home and which i still ended up getting home around the same time that jada got home which is push at three o'clock so yeah, so far, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to. It seems like very hard. Like, these people really be grabbing up these shifts when they offer these shifts. And then as well, they offer up a 7, like a 7 to 2 or like a 7 to 3, something like that. It's like a 6-hour shift. But either way, it started at 7. And I was like, I wanted to take that shift so bad, but I could not commit to be like, I'm going to be up and out the door at go puff at seven o'clock so um i think we're gonna give it a go tomorrow um and see how it goes but as well i think i'm gonna if it gets like too slow like that i'm probably gonna turn on go, um uber eats and doordash so um i hope y'all are enjoying vlogtober and these vlogs here with me i hope you guys are doing well let me know if you got any questions or anything about uh, me doing delivery service gopuff grubhub doordash well i don't do doordash unfortunately i'm still waiting on them but um uber eats uh any of that i'm an open book so i'll see y'all tomorrow